Hey, this is Tali from rawnakedfood.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make some almond flour. Now, how we do this is we pretty much dehydrate uh, or put in the oven at a very low temperature uh, the almond pulp that we use for almond milk. And after you dehydrate it, you'll get something that looks like this. It's like a brick of almond pulp. Now what you're going to do is we're going to take this we're going to put it into our food processor here. We're just going to throw that in there, like so. And uh, you don't even have to like crumble it. You can just throw it in there. And what we're going to do is we want to have a consistency that is like similar to a flour, like you would uh, some sort of uh, all-purpose flour or something very fine. And I'll show you exactly how you can achieve those results simply by using a food processor and by doing a couple more things. Alright, so I'm gonna get this thing handled here. Alright, so as you can see, I closed my food processor here. And I'm gonna just press the on switch and you're gonna see what happens here. Alright, you're gonna let that process. You're going to let that process for a good 30 seconds to a minute. Um, now, I do advise that you make sure that the flour is extremely dry and fully dehydrated before you process. Or else what happens is you'll get some wetness in the process, in the, in the food processing process. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, it kind of uh, it looks good. We're getting to that nice, floury texture. This is what we want. So let's stop it. Let's see where we're at here. Alright. As you can see, we have a nice, what looks like green, fine grain texture. It's This is pretty good. This is good to make. You see that right there? That's, that's the money right there. This is flour stuff right here. Look how soft that is. It's like snow. See that? See that? Now with this you can do all sorts of things with raw food. Now what I like to do is I like to swish it around a little bit. And then what I like to do is process it again <coughs> two times. Or three times. If I feel like it. Depending how crazy I am today. So I'll process that for a little more. And you can see how nice my hands are now covered in almond dust, almond snow, which is uh, the flour. And we're going to use this as the base of making our raw vegan baked goods. Okay. Good. Okay. And take that. And take that out. Here we go. There's some nice. Look at that. You see this? Just look at look at what's on this. I don't know if you can zoom in that. Probably not. But it's it's very very fine. That's what we want. We want a texture that's fine. So you can food process this again, or what we do after this is we're going to pass it through a chinois or a, a fine sieve. And we're going to just grind it up, grind it, grind it, grind it until what's left and what we're going to get in the bottom is this fine powder. But this is the bare basics, part one of making home and flour. Go to my website, rawnakedfood.com, to learn more and see, uh, see more videos and stuff and get more information that you wouldn't get by watching these videos on YouTube. And you can visit my YouTube channel at Cook. That's on YouTube. Alright, this is Tali. I'll see you again. Take care.